Hello, it's an expert today. I'm going to show you what has changed in the design of the iPhone and how design looks different and all that. But first, I'm going, to I'm going to close my door here. Okay, so today's video, I'm going to compare the designs and see what's different about each iPhone over time and see what you guys think. So here they are. The first iPhone down to the 6S right here. 2G, 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S, 5, and 6S. All right here. And tell me comments below what you notice about each design. Because what I notice is the, the the Gigabyte model on the 3GS got removed and left from 4. They removed the how many gigabytes it had on the back, see? That's what they removed in that from 4. But then when they went to the 5, they added aluminum and glass. Then when they hit the 6 and 6S, they removed the glass permanently and added just aluminum. Pretty neat, huh? And in the 3... Whoops! Let me go get my phone here. I already have it dropped. So, here's the math from 4. Let me put the camera down so I can compare those two. So here's the 3GS compared to the iPhone 4. See 3GS and 4, see that? It has a slimmer design. Then when they hit the 4S, they've added another antenna band right here, which is one had it up here instead. Then when they hit the iPhone 5, that's when they made the design double taller. See that? Even thinner. Then when they hit the 6 and 6 Plus, they made designing even thinner. Then here's all phones compared together. The 2G, 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S, 5, success. Tell me in the comments below what you notice about the sizes of, those, of the phones. And the switches. So you have the iPhone 4, they went to two buttons instead of volume markers come out it. But it's actually still two buttons put together, but the buttons underneath are still hooked together. But that's what it looks like from the outside. And now the hardest part of this video. Comparing the chargers. So here are the chargers differences. Let me hold it up in the light so you can see it. So here are the different ports right here. Tell me comments below what you noticed about the iPhone 4S to the 5. Because I see the iPhone 4S was the last phone to get the 30 pin connector. And they went to the 8 pin connector in the iPhone 5. So the 2G down, 2G, 3G, 3G, 4, and 4S have the old fashioned connector. The 5 and higher have the newer one. See that? Pretty good, huh? And then, now, the OS. So let me put the device down now. Sorry about that. That was just my 3GS talking to Tom going off. You wondering what that was? So let me put the device down and unlock all. Okay, I'm almost done here. Sorry about the wait. Okay, so got him unlocked here. So sorry about the camera focusing issue. There, that's my 3G going off. I mean, let me turn my forest of brightness down here. Okay, so look very carefully. The iPhone 4 and higher has the newest design. The iPhone 3GS and lower has the old design because the older device ran the Samsung Cortex A8 chip, if you're wondering. It's because their Samsung chip couldn't handle it pretty well, actually, at all. And then, you need the A4 to run the iOS 7. Because the iPhone 4 didn't get iOS 8, 9, or 10 because it had the A4 chip. But the iPhone 4S could do it because it had the same chip as my, from my iPad, which I'm recording with right now. So, the design differences are totally different. Pretty neat, huh? So that's the design difference. Sorry, that's not for going off. Well, that's it for this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next video. Peace out.